Hi, this is Dr. Kimberly Leonard, and you're, and you're listening to Incredible Life Creator Podcast. Today is a special episode. I have Terry Levine, Dr. Terry Levine, on with me, and she is a business consultant and has authored over 40 books. But today we're talking about a special book, a, a book that is her autobiography that she went through uh, three years of just writing it, rewriting it, um, and it has a special, special message of forgiveness. And I just wanted to interview her about this and just encourage you to get this book because it is life-changing. Thank you so much, Dr. Terry, for being on today. Thank you for having me and for also feeling how important this book is. I really appreciate you. Yes. So after writing so many books, why did you write this book? <laughs> That's a great question. So most of my other books have to do with business, sales, and marketing. And I had gone through something in my life where I truly was about to break. And I figured a way out of it, which was truly coming up with a forgiveness formula for myself. And I shared the formula with about a hundred of my client family members. And they came at me literally saying, you have got to share this process. Everyone needs to learn how to forgive themselves and others. You have to share this. And the only way I knew how to write it was to actually be transparent, tell my own autobiography, my whole story of my life and then teach the process. So it became very transparent and that's what called me to write it. I know it's gonna be transformational and healing for so many people. And you called it about to break. There's a reason for that. Yeah, so at this particular point that I was at in my life, I have always been a very happy, positive person. And at this point, I was in so much pain from a neurological disease that I actually had made the decision that I just couldn't go on anymore, that I just couldn't wake up another day, another minute. But the emotional, physical um, abuse that I had in my life, I just couldn't figure out a way to move on and get away from things. And I really was about to break. Wow. So um, I'm sure as you started writing, there was different reasons why you were writing. But at this point, now that it's complete, who is the book for? When I was writing the book, I originally thought this would be very healing for my clients and it would be very healing for people that I know, friends and family. Mm -hmm. And as I shared with the hundred people the process, and then I gave them a rough draft of the book way before we have you know, gone to final drafts and pre-publication. They said, this book goes beyond us. They said, this is for kids that have been bullied. This is for people who have been either suicidal or have lost someone through suicide. This is for everyone who's going through something in their life, consciously or unconsciously, where they're not self-loving, where their self-talk isn't loving, where they don't take good care of themselves, where they maybe have an addiction, it could even be overeating. Um, it's for anyone who's not having a great relationship with their parents, their grandparents, their children, their siblings. And as they went on and began to list it, you know, they were talking about people who are cancer survivors. They were talking about vets who had been in war. And I realized the impact of this book and I can honestly say now, I really believe this book is for everyone who is a human being who's breathing. <laughs> wow. Wow. And you said something that really stood out to me. And it's that sometimes consciously we know these things are happening, but so many times it's unconscious. And I know as a business person, as a person who's always been a high achiever, you know, I mean, the world can be falling apart. And I walk into the office and I'm smiling and nobody knows. And I know there's thousands of people like that. They might even be fooling themselves, you know, because they think, oh, it's okay. Or I look good from the outside, but it's like you said, you're breaking inside. 
I'm really glad you brought that up because on the outside, I had on what I call my business face, right? You know, everyone thinks, oh, what a great life and you're so lucky and everything's so wonderful. And on the inside, I felt worthless and broken. I had no self-esteem. I was not loving of myself. My t negative self-talk was overwhelming how much destructive thinking I was having. And literally, I, I honestly didn't feel like, how do you get out of this? How do you go on? I feel broken inside and out, physically, mentally, emotionally. I guess I just need to exit the planet. And no one would have guessed that other than my husband, because he's with me all the time, right? On the outside world, no, people thought it's just, you know, happy, smiling Terry that they always see. Right. And, and, and as you, another thing I'm thinking of as you're saying that is um, uh, so many times we have that facade up there. And so then it makes us afraid to share with people. So we're needing to share, but we're not sharing to keep that. Exactly. Yeah, I was doing everything that I could good to actually hide all of that, right? People would say, you know, how are you? I'm okay. You know, I, I was not letting on. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So why is forgiveness so important? So the book really is about forgiveness. And at first I thought, well, that's the message. The message is about forgiving. And as I forgave, things happened that were so remarkable and spectacular in my life. First of all, when I forgave myself and found that I had more self-love, I had more self-esteem, more self-confidence. The second thing is I forgave everyone, literally from age five years old up until the writing of the book. I forgave every circumstance. I forgave the fact I had a neurological disease. I forgave every single person on the planet and experience. And as I did that, I became more mentally clear, more focused, more inspired, happier. I started to make a lot more money and I started to notice the quality of all my relationships dramatically improved. And the hundred clients that I had taken this through, those client family members, they each sent me letters after the process and every single one of them showed me it wasn't just forgiveness. It was like it had uh, a tentacles, you know, that went out in every direction and all these other things changed in their life. And that's when I realized forgiveness is the common theme that we all need to have all the things we want in life. If we want to live that delicious, amazing life we desire with the income and freedom and love that we desire, we have to learn to fully forgive ourselves and others, period. Yes. Yes. So... I know that you went about this the hard way. You were figuring it out as you went this forgiveness process. And now you have it in a book where people can actually use it. How did you create it? How did it, mm. how did you put it together? So it started with radical forgiveness worksheets by Colin Tipping, who unfortunately just passed on recently. And I have been using those for myself and with clients probably for 20 years, um, doing the worksheets and, and they always were super helpful. However, I knew I didn't fully forgive with them. So as an example, I did forgiveness worksheet on someone who was suing me and for no reason, literally, I mean, she didn't win in court, whatever. Um, however, she was dragging me through the courts and cost me about $300,000 to defend uh, my position. And so I thought I had fully forgiven her. I'd done radical forgiveness several times. And then right before I went into the courtroom, I realized, no, I had not forgiven her. And so we came back from court and we had another four months until we went back to court in front of a jury. And I said, what do I need to add? Because if I go to court angry and mean and mad, it's not the way I want to be. And I kept adding pieces. Would this help? Would this help? Would this help? That didn't help. This helped. Or would this help? And all of a sudden, I had this process. And I didn't realize I was creating it. And I did the process. And we went to court. And literally, I couldn't bring up a negative emotion. I was sitting there smiling at her and feeling love for her. And, you know, I really wanted to give her a hug. Her attorneys were protecting her from me because she didn't want to be involved with me. And that was cool. I literally felt nothing but love. And I said, this is the process. And then I started doing it in all aspects of my life. 
And that's when I shared it with a hundred other people. Well, that is amazing because most people wouldn't be very loving when it was costing them that much money and aggravation. Yeah. And I wasn't at first, believe me, I was angry and I was righteous and I was holding a grudge and resentful and part of me wanted like to retaliate and I had all these emotions that I couldn't even keep in check. Her name would come up and I'd be like in a frenzy, no more. Wow. And you said that you actually shared this with about a hundred of your client members without, you know, we don't want to share names, but can you tell me some stories? I mean, tell me some of the things people experienced. I'm so glad you asked, so I won't use client names. Um, one of the gentlemen that I shared it with, his client of mine for a while, he had a lot of what he called anger and resentment towards his parents. Um, he received a lot of physical abuse as a child and when he was older and tried to kind of reconcile with his parents, it went really badly. He hasn't spoken to his dad in I think five years. And after he went through the forgiveness process, he actually decided to reach out to his father. And believe it or not, not only did they have a conversation, they had a really decent conversation and he started to visit his father after that and he felt really good about that. I'm gonna give you another one. So I have a client family member. She's been with me for almost 21 years. So she's been on the journey with me a while and she went through something with her children recently with one of her kids who was constantly um, cutting himself and in addition to being this child being a cutter, she had a daughter that was suicidal. And she felt so much shame and embarrassment over her children and also so much guilt thinking she was a terrible parent that she really didn't know how to relate to her kids. And she was watching over them every day thinking they're gonna do something awful, they're gonna kill themselves, he's gonna cut, they're embarrassing me. And she did this process and she was able to sit down and have the most loving heart-to-heart -heart conversation, first with her daughter, that literally changed everything. Her relationship with her daughter changed, and her daughter's life literally has changed. And she was able to have a great conversation with her son, where after three years of trying to get him into therapy and doing everything she did never worked, when she came from this way of true forgiveness, her heart was filled with nothing but love and conversed with him. He actually went into a therapy program, and by the way, he's doing great. Oh, that's awesome. I love to hear that. Oh, that is so awesome. So that's why I feel this book needs to be in everybody's hands. Yes, yes. And um, in your life, you said you've changed so many things. I'm always interested because I'm the people person. How did that affect your relationship with your husband or the people who are closest to you, who know you the most, so they knew kind of uh, how you were feeling maybe even and how you were behaving and then what, how did it change those close relationships you had? Let me dig in that question. So my husband, I don't think really knew other than he was concerned because I was clearly suicidal. He could see that. I don't think he knew that it was related to anything that had to do with forgiveness. And as I was working through my processes, I began to share things with him that he had no idea of from my past. And that open heart to heart communication, we've always been close, but now, and now we're so much closer. Like we don't have to say anything. We could just sit and like literally look in each other's eyes and we feel each other completely. And it was never like that. We always conversed, always had words. Now it's just, we sit and we literally look at each other and we can feel, and it was never that. And I'll give you one other example. I have a friend that has been a childhood friend, knows me the best, and um, we're like sisters. And she knows a lot of things that happened to me from age, I guess, 14 or 15 when we started our friendship on. She had no idea what happened to me before that, and I'd never told anyone. And I decided to share that openly with her, and she said, I knew something was up for you because I've noticed that you're more present, that you're not distracted, that when we talk, you are so into our conversation. And I just sit here every time going, every time I talk to you, you radiate so much love. And so I said, yeah, I have all these things in my childhood that I never released. Like, I didn't even know they were running as programs. They're gone. Like, they don't, they don't have any, any 
claim to me anymore other than I love those experiences. And so she and I were able to even get closer and our relationship has grown to the point where she has opened up, told me things about her childhood that she'd also never told anyone. And she's now on the path to true forgiveness. Wow. So the ripple, the ripple effect. And as you were, you know, speaking about your husband, I could just feel my heart just getting big and bursting and thinking about that. Oh my gosh, what a deep, beautiful, beautiful connection. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It, it is. Thank you. And and um, I, I just have to say that I am so grateful that you are willing to actually, you know, you could have just wrote this and, and didn't and, and not share it. But you're sharing that. something very, you know, <laughs> you're sharing the raw, real, here's what happened. And oh my gosh, that, that kind of openness, although we all want it, it's so rare. I'll say something about that. As I was writing the book, I remember thinking to myself, well, I can never publish this because you know I'm a public persona in my niche and oh, people are gonna see behind the scenes and oh, I can't do that. So I rewrote this book 16 times. <laughs> And I kept literally writing a chapter going, oh, no one can see that and deleting the whole thing, like literally getting rid of it and then writing it again and going, oh, no one can see that. And finally, about a year and a half ago, I sat down and said, Terry, you have to stop thinking about how anybody else reacts. If you're going to help people, you have to focus on helping them. And if your story and all the details are going to help people because they'll relate to specs of it mm -hmm. and then they'll learn their own forgiveness process, you have to just write the book. And that's when I finally said, here it is, wrote it, sent it off to my publisher who basically said it was worth waiting these three years. So I knew I was doing the right thing. Yes. Yes. And thank you. Thank you so much for that. So. I would love for every person to get a hold of this book so they can experience these life changes. How can they get the book? They can go to abouttobreakbook.com. And I just want to tell you something special that we're doing because I want to get this book into literally millions of people's hands. This is my cause. This is my legacy. I have been in business for almost 44 years. So I've done a lot of really important things and I, I've helped literally probably millions of people. There is nothing, nothing more important than this book as far as I'm concerned. So I want to get this in a lot of people's hands. So here's what I'm doing. When you go to abouttobreakbook.com, you have the opportunity to actually win a year of business consulting from me. You get entered into that contest in addition you instantly, as soon as you go to abouttobreakbook.com and you enter your information, get a book, you instantly have $200 worth of my consulting packages given as a thank you gift. So I'm asking people to pass it forward, spread the word, and let's help more people together. So it's abouttobreakbook.com. Wonderful. Abouttobreakbook.com. That's easy to remember. So thank you so much, Terry, and everyone who's listening, please go pick up this book. This is great for Christmas, it's great for Thanksgiving or whatever holidays you're celebrating to, to buy for yourself, to buy for your loved ones, your friends, and just we'll see that ripple effect happening as people start to implement this and use it. And I'd also say if you wanna make amends with someone, this is a, a book to give to someone you want to make amends with. Write a little note inside the book and give it to anyone that you want to make amends with. Amazing, yes. Well, thank you so much, Terry. Thank you. It's a joy to be with you. All right. We'll talk to you again soon. Goodbye.